Hey everyone, Hannah here with another finance update for the month of March 2022. So let's get right into it and talk about our investment totals. I decided to streamline this section and talk about just what the total is for all of our investment accounts together. So the total for all of our investment accounts as of right this moment is $7,586.51. If you've been following along for a little while, you may have noticed that that is down a bit from last month. We ended up needing to take out some money out of our Robinhood account in order to cover some line items in our budget. And due to the majority of what we are invested in having gone down quite significantly over the past month, our totals in our accounts that we did not touch went down significantly. We have a lot of shares in tech stocks and companies such as Tesla, and those took a pretty significant dip over the last month. But this is just a reminder to stay the course and continue to invest over time. And it's just a reminder to myself to not overly invest too much if we don't have enough in the budget to pad it out to where we don't need to borrow against our stocks again. Now I wanna switch over to YNAB and talk about our totals for the month of February. Starting off with a popular category to talk about when we talk about our spending totals, it is eating out. Now eating out is one we have done super well on over the last couple of months. As you can see looking at this graph going from October of last year, our eating out budget typically was ranging around $400 a month, give or take but we have been able to decrease that significantly since the start of the year. And in February, we were just at $140 in eating out. Now this is a significant change for us and I'm very happy about the reduction in this category. I am hoping that we are able to go underneath that $100 total for the month of March. Next, moving on to our spending totals for all of our category groups. Now, as you can see, we have definitely changed up our category groups quite significantly. And I did this so that way I could provide a little bit more clarity to both myself and Sage and help us make better decisions in the long term. I had so many different subcategory groups that were full of so many different things. I had wants that were spread across many different subcategory groups. And because of that, I felt like there was just too much information on the graph. And that was what it was allowing me to not see the basic information that these graphs are supposed to give you. And so I decided to decrease this down into our no matter what's and keep that roughly the same while adding in our yearly expenses that come through there, such as YNAB that comes through once a year. Then I decided to have a category for monthly bills that come through but are varied, but they are definitely needs, such as groceries, gas, that sort of thing. Then I wanted to have a category to include all of our wants all in one big category group so that way we could see definitively how much we spent on stuff we didn't actually need over that month. And the findings this month are definitely a little on the scary side, but that's exactly why an app like You Need a Budget is so, so useful for figuring out your own financial situation because it was able to show us that, wow, we did spend a lot of money over the last month. As you can see, we spent a little over $2,000 on our wants last month. And a majority of this was on the retreat that Sage went to at the end of last month. Now, this is something that she only plans on doing around once a year, and so it's not going to be an expense that's going to come up frequently, so it's not as big of a deal. But it is something we need to think about next time we go to an event like that, is to have the full amount that we paid for everything, which is around $1,400 for that retreat, and have that all budgeted out prior to getting there. Now, part of that is because we thought we had paid the entire hotel bill, but we had only ended up paying the deposit, and so that definitely sidelined us quite a bit. But we were able to weather the storm, and even though it ended up being a lot of wants this month, I am very optimistic about March. In January, we were doing fairly okay in terms of our wants, but again, since I could not see the full level of wants versus needs, it was really hard to know. I feel like having these categories separated out this way being able to see a graph that looks just like this and being able to go, oh my God, we spent more on wants than we did on needs, shows us that we are not heading in the right direction and can allow us to make some changes for next month. Next, I want to go over our net worth and how that has changed. As you can see, our net worth has definitely gone down a little bit and it's actually gone down about $2,000 from last month. Now, obviously that is a very scary thing to hear, but when you hear about the implications of why it did end up going down that significantly, it's not nearly as bad as it seems. As I said, there was that retreat trip, which we did not expect to be nearly as expensive as it was, and it is going to be an extremely infrequent expense. And we also got sidelined by some medical debt that was not expected in the slightest. We were paying for really good insurance through the marketplace, 
and we expected that to be covering the doctor that I was seeing, but unfortunately the entire network that I was a part of is not covered by my insurance in the slightest. And so we had to pay every single dollar for all of my doctor's visits completely out of pocket. And so that is a good majority of what all of this is. It's from all of those doctor's bills that came through that we just simply could not have foreseen because we thought that we were going to be getting a significantly reduced price because we thought insurance would pay something. Between that and the downturn in the market, there was really just no way of avoiding a significant dip in our net worth. And we are just coming out of the slow season for the restaurant industry. And so my income has been very low comparatively to how it would be during a typical month over the summer. And so I anticipate as my income goes back up and as we are able to rein in our spending and hopefully have a little bit less unexpected medical expenses, we will be able to get right back on track. So just to recap, the goals that we have set for next month is to have under $100 in our eating out category, and we are aiming for less than $500 in our wants for the entire month of March. Make sure to just hit that subscribe button so that way you can be notified when next month's finance update comes out to see if we were able to stick true to our goals for this month. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like as that really helps my channel grow and spread out to more people. And as always, I would love to hear in the comment section below about your own personal finances and if you are having any struggles with reigning in your spending at all, or if you are dealing with any unforeseen expenses just like me and Sage have. Thank you all so much for watching and take care.